lots of people talking about the New World Order. People are stocking up food, collecting guns and ammunition, and they really think <coughs> the Bible has warned them about the New World Order today, 21st century. And it's critical to note that the uh, Apostle Peter continually points to his uh, reader's attention not to events that would take place thousands of years in the future, but to events that were already beginning to take place in the first century. Otherwise, his uh, closing message to him makes no sense when he says, Therefore, beloved, uh, looking forward to these things, be diligent, uh, and find in you peace without spot, and be blameless. You therefore, beloved, since you know these things beforehand, beware lest you fall from your own steadfastness. Now, if these things refer to a, a 21st century thermonuclear holocaust or uh, anything like that, why would the inspired apostle direct such a serious exhortation against falling from steadfastness when he spoke it to thousands of, of people? thousands of readers who would never live to see the 21st century. A, a cardinal rule of biblical interpretation is that Scripture <clears throat> must interpret Scripture. And particularly that the, the New Testament is God's own inspired commentary on the meaning of the Old Testament. Uh, once the old had been swept away, Peter declared that the age of Christ would be fully established, an area in which righteousness dwells. Uh, the distinguishing characteristics of the new era, in stark contrast to what preceded it, would be righteousness increasing righteousness as the gospel would be set free in its missions to the world. And there's been many battles throughout uh, church history. And there's many ba battles that are, are to lie ahead and there's many battles that are going on right now, but you can't let these battles blind us to the very progress that the gospel has made and continues to make in the world. The new world order of the Lord Jesus Christ has arrived. It arrived in that first century. And according to God's own promise, the saving knowledge of God will and Jesus fill the earth as the waters covers the sea. So to all you New World Order, uh, you're, you're living by what the government says, what politicians say to get votes. Of course there's going to be change in the world. Of course we're going to have to uh, communicate and trade and, and be part of a world organization. And through this, people will learn the gospel of Christ because it's an ongoing thing set forth in the first century by Jesus himself and will never end. If you think it will end, then you're saying the church the age of Jesus Christ will end.
when the Bible clearly says of his rule and government there will be no end so new world order NWO stands for no way Jose to me